Hey, how's it going, you guys? This is Spyderco64 back again with a new NASCAR Authentics video. And in today's video, I'm here to bring you the other card that I got. As in total, I got three cars. And this is the um, second card I got. The other card um, is kind of one of my least favorite paint schemes, but the car actually looks nice. I'll get into that when we take a look at the car. So this right here is Eric Jones's number 20 uh, Daytona uh, raced win version diecast, which by the way, this car um, is part of NASCAR Authentics Wave 4. Yeah, they had jack shit for, um, they didn't have jack shit for Wave 3. And the only Wave 3 a car I got is this one right here. Pay attention to my finger. Yeah, it's the Kyle Larson car right there, just sitting in the back. So let's just take a look at the quick ac accessory, what it comes with, which is the card. We have the um, trophy right here for the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Got a smart, uh, happy Eric Jones. Got Eric Jones right there. The uh, logo. Coke Zero Sugar 400 champion. Daytona, Florida Beach. July 7, 2018. Is this the same thing right here? Time of race, 3 hours, 13 minutes, and 12 seconds. Starting position was 29th. Total laps, 168. Number of cautions, 10 for 46 laps. Laps led by winner one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, in our, um, pretty interesting statistic how your first win, you only led one lap. That's pretty interesting. March of victory, 0 0.125 seconds. Driver career wins, first NASCAR Cup Series win. I did not know. I was not expecting Eric Jones to, to win Daytona. I was not expecting that because he kind of always sucked at the restrictor play races when he kind of really, you know, think about it and shit. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in this video. So, um, yeah. So, here's the car itself. As you can see, that um, the car is covered in, with a shit ton of confetti. And there's obviously some race wins parts. And we'll get to that in a little bit. And in terms of quality-wise for Lionel... It looks decent, other than there's a big blotch of paint right there. I just noticed that just right now. Talking really good about Lino until that. So, yeah, yeah, Lino, you're, you're terrible. You're terrible. You're absolutely fucking terrible. Um, yeah, on the back, um, doesn't look too bad. I mean, the die casting, the die casting looks a bit, looks kind of feels off there. The other side doesn't look too bad as well. And there's underneath of the car, which I look, actually kind of don't show much in the videos. I just got the next videos anymore, you know, and stuff. Which, by the way, I'm sorry that I'm just haven't been uploading that much videos. I'm wanting to upload the 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 life update video, but I won't really know for sure because I haven't made it yet. So yeah, um, if you're not, um, if you say you're gonna do it, well, I haven't you made it. So kind of eat my own words out of my ass right there. So. Um, yeah, so we got here, we got, um, let's take a look at all the uh, details on the car. It's the front windshield, nothing much, no Monster Ranger logos as always, but we already expected that. The uh, Toyota, Cam Toyota Camry, America's number one selling car for 16 years. If you're wondering why uh, the logo, or like the Toyota isn't, like the whole Toyota logo is not covered in confetti, it's because Toyota, they want their logos on the car. I don't know why. They're weird. We're Japanese people. That's not a that okay. Now, uh, we're Japanese. Uh, if you ever get easily, if you that was a joke, okay. Don't get easily offended by it. But we also got some rubber buildup on the front grill. We have the ducks right here. We got a red stripe going all the way across here, and a white stripe where we have Mog, Mahal, Compt, Edox, and Nunko. Goodyear. Mechanical Wear, 3M, k &N, Lincoln Electric, and Flowmaster. Pretty good companies right there. Got number 20, buyatoyota.com. We got a lot of other sponsors right there, like Sports Clips, Sherman Williams, Mac Tools, Lincoln Electric, Frank Liner, Siemens. A lot of them. And then we got the Splitter. We got Research Finds Foods, buyatoyota.com. American Ethanol Logo, DeWalt. Toyota, Soko K, Jokers Racing, Eric Jones, his name right there, with the race winner, with the race winner, um, sticker, 
Which, by the way, this card doesn't really come with that. Uh, it's kind of weird how they do it. They you would they would they would kind of put it out with the they would put it out. Like there's a couple race winner race winning cars, and they don't give the you know obviously the sticker, which is kind of odd. But yeah, you see the Toyota um, or Toyota right there, twenty, and that's obviously covered in confetti. The deck lid is just should covered in confetti. On the back bumper, you got uh, just a white spoiler. And then you got Toyota Camry, TRD, Toyota. She looks really nice. And then you got um, the big race damage right here. But just this was where um, in the race, um, or, or, um, you know, where uh, you know, the one part of the race of the of last year's Daytona race where Ricky Stenhouse basically wrecked uh, uh, Kyle Busch and William Byron. You know, and stuff like that, and um, he got a con he got collected in that, and yeah, there was some front damage there, but um, he was still able to win the race, and stuff. That's the only big one you can see. That's the only one that you could like that you could see. Then you got to buy a Toyota.com number twenty, the exhaust ports, which look very nice, and it's basically the same thing on the. Yeah, we got. <laughs> Get the same thing on the other side. So, um, rolls, um, not that good, actually, when you think about it. But, um, yeah, so there you go. That is, um, that is the review. Uh, so, overall, this is a very good looking, uh, car. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I mean, like, like most with the race versions, like, this is like one of the ones where there's a lot of confetti. You know and stuff like that so obviously this car you know it's it's also a pretty big one considering that this is eric jones's first win and really the the guy hasn't really not done much this season other than what what's the only what's the other thing that he does that he did he finished fourth at texas which he kind of has the thing by finishing fourth at texas by the way you know and stuff like that it's like being fourth it's like being the fourth guy to get your dick sucked you know by a girl and stuff like that but um yeah, I mean, like, I really don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah. Also, by the way, a lot of our rating content, uh, yeah, there kind of goes the PG-13 rating, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So, which, by the way, um, um, I really kind of don't care for kind of any of my videos. But, uh, yeah, just overall, a, this is a very good-looking car. And if you're an Eric Jones fan, which you probably already have this car already. I've seen this car, or I've seen, you know, um, like the like the 124 scale car in person. And it's a pretty good looking car. Basically, when I was like at Fontana, like this one guy had it and stuff. So, um, yeah, so pretty cool. Really good car. If I were to rate it, it'll be a solid. It's a really good car, you know. It's not like the most terrible car. It sounds like a terrible looking car, but you get what I mean. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you thought, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.